What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel another video. So after my long absence, I've decided to do something. Just kind of go right back to the basics. So I've got a bunch of different cooler, darker colors. Because if you could look outside my window right now, it's a giant downpour here in Detroit. So it's kind of where the mood's taking me. But we're going to do an open cup today. Now, I've done a bunch of open cups in the past, but it's been so freaking long since I've done any kind of real painting, so I'm just excited to kind of get in and do this. So I'm going to use black as the base coat, because I think it's still going to offer enough contrast with these other colors to help them stand out. Now, first... I would be remiss if I didn't thank you guys for all the love and support you guys have given me over all this time. It's because of you that I've actually decided to carry on in a way. You guys have just overwhelmingly given me love and support. That sounded really bad. I don't know. I think I, I feel like I'm like everybody else, kind of get down every once in a while. And let those colors kind of churn through, right? Right now we're just building up that base. But I want those colors to kind of escape. Now the same uh, silicone that I always use is in this as well. And I'm gonna use this metallic white a little sparingly. I do not want it taking over. I'm already starting to see the beginning of some glorious looking cells coming through. I'm already really liking what I'm seeing here with these colors. Freaking beautiful. So, how's everybody doing this glorious day? I hope everybody's having a wonderful time. I hope everybody's getting to live their best lives and do what it is that they enjoy doing every single day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little heat gun, try to activate some of that silicone that's underneath in all those layers and help it push its way through before we continue to pour so I can kind of see what I'm working with. And I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far. Absolutely stunning so far. That's beautiful. Got this multicolored cells down here. I love it. So I'm gonna put another shot of white in there because the white is doing exactly what I was hoping it would do and not taking over but offering some really beautiful looking colors in combination with the others. I'm just going to recenter it a little bit. I know the cup's going to do what the cup does, because that's what cups do. But I kind of want to help it along if I can. Oh, shoot. Almost messed it up. All right. I'm just continue to layer it out. Now it's going the direction that I want it to go. Good. Now just don't squish all the other cells, please, and we will be fine. Then we can maintain our friendship here. Okay. Is it odd when I do my little inner monologue thing with you guys here? As if I'm just talking to myself anyway? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Alright, so, since we got this, I'm gonna kinda swipe it around through those solid colors to kind of create just a little bit of movement there. Okay, I'm really liking the way this is uh, looking so far. Now I feel like if I just activate that silicone in the center area, things will start looking even more glorious. Let's see what we can do. Right, we're starting to see those cells open up, new cells appearing. And 
Yeah, these color combinations actually works really well together. Coaxing the silicone to the surface. That's all we're doing. Just giving it a little hand. This heat gun is a little bit more forgiving. It's not as forceful, and it's also not as hot as some of my previous ones. So I can afford to kind of stick on the same spot for a little while. Normally you wouldn't want to do that just so you don't burn the paint, but since it's kind of a gentler heat gun, I can kind of get away with it. So I'm just now giving it some paint to slide so everything on the outside doesn't get distorted. I really don't think I'm even going to spin it that hard. Maybe just to get some of this to get out towards the edges a little bit. Because I'm, I'm liking a lot of the stuff that's going on on the outside, too. And leaving your paint thicker is not necessarily a bad thing. It will take a little longer to dry. You do kind of have to pay a little bit more attention to it. You definitely have to make sure your surface is level because it will take longer. So if your surface isn't level, then everything will shift even more. But... Our surface is fairly level. As level as I can get it. Alright. So, we got that. Once ungloved, we're going to adjust it just a little bit. I'm really liking what I'm seeing on the edges. Just a light spin. I definitely don't want to lose all those turquoise cells. Just wanted to offer a little bit of centrifugal force on the outside. And there we go. That's looking very organic, actually. It's kind of crazy also. When they do the close-up, these cells are very odd looking, but I like them. All right, well, let me bring you guys down. We're going to check this bad boy out because I'm actually in love with this one. So, yeah, like right there, you can kind of see it. It's one of those really strange little cells. Never seen cells like that before, actually. And then as we come up here, there's even more of those really organic-looking cells, which those are new to me. But that metallic white offered just the right amount of pop. And it might even be the metallic white, because I typically don't use that. I love it though. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.